North Korea has tested a new long-range cruise missile capable of hitting much of Japan, state media said on Monday. The weekend tests saw missiles traveling up to 1,500 kilometers, 930 miles, the official KCNA news agency said. It suggests North Korea is still capable of developing weapons despite food shortages and an economic crisis. The U.S. military said the latest tests posed threats to the international community, and neighboring Japan said it had significant concerns. A picture in the North Korean Rodong Sinmun newspaper showed a missile being fired from a launch vehicle, while another could be seen in horizontal flight. The missiles are a strategic weapon of great significance, the KCNA agency said. It added that the tests were carried out on Saturday and Sunday, with the missiles hitting their targets before falling into North Korea's territorial waters. It is the country's first long-range cruise missile that could possibly carry a nuclear warhead, according to North Korea analyst Ankit Panda. UN Security Council sanctions forbid North Korea from testing ballistic missiles, but not cruise missiles such as these. The council considers ballistic missiles to be more threatening than cruise missiles because they can carry bigger and more powerful payloads, have a much longer range, and can fly faster. A ballistic missile is powered by a rocket and follows an arc-like trajectory, while a cruise missile is powered by a jet engine and flies at a lower height. The reason some may shrug this missile test off is because it was a cruise missile. This type of missile isn't subject to UN Security Council sanctions which are in place to curb North Korea's nuclear program. Some may view this as a low-level provocation from Pyongyang, perhaps testing the waters to see what reaction it gets. It certainly didn't make the top headline in South Korea, nor did it make the front page of North Korea's state newspaper. The problem is that North Korea is once again proving that it can develop new and dangerous weapons despite being subject to strict international sanctions. These cruise missiles fly low and are difficult to detect, and a range of 1,500 kilometers would put much of Japan in range. State media also describes these missiles as strategic, which usually means that the regime hopes to put a nuclear warhead on it. Analysts aren't sure yet if North Korea can miniaturize a nuclear warhead to fit on a cruise missile. However given how many advances the secretive state has made so far, no one would bet against it. Pyongyang may have been quiet since talks between former U.S. President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un broke down in Hanoi in 2019. But that doesn't mean their weapons developers have not been busy. If you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates.